Okay, well, it's the final day of our journey and we've just come down from Guamusang in Kelantan to Perak. We're heading towards Kuala Kangsa. Now, Kuala Kangsa was pretty badly hit during the recent flood, so we're going to head into town and check out whether or not uh, the town's back to normal, whether the shops there are operational, so it should be pretty interesting stuff. We should be there. It's going to be interesting. Right, we're here in Kuala Kangsa. Now we've been to the town center and everything looks pretty normal, considering that this town was really quite badly hit during the recent flood. Now we finally managed to find some signs of destruction and it, it's pretty impressive stuff, if you can say that really. If you take a look, the jetty has been completely destroyed. We've been speaking to residents and they, they told us that the, the jetty on the other side has suffered the same kind of damage as well. So this just goes to show you just how severe the flooding was uh, in this town. Okay, well, I've spoken to some residents about the recent floods and they tell me that uh, the situation here was pretty bad. Actually, if you look behind me, you can actually see how high the water was now. What's really got me about Kuala Kangsa is just how fast the local government has worked to clean up this town. I mean, considering that the water levels were that high, the town looks pretty good actually. It's clean. Things look to be getting back to normal, which is great news indeed. Masanya terlalu pantas. Jadi dia yang kedai ni dia dapat keluarkan barang hanya separuh saja. Dia jangka air akan naik hari ini. Hak lebih kurang dalam dua kaki je. Tapi sampai sini parah sini. Utama malam yang air naik tu orang ramai sini. Jadi lori yang nak bawa barang daripada sini dia tak boleh masuk. Orang ramai tengok tengok air jadi macam pesta lah. Jadi kenderaan yang nak mengambil barang-barang pun sebegini dia tersangkut. Tak boleh nak masuk. Tahun ini yang paling dahsyatlah daripada tahun 67. 67 lagi lagi dahsyatlah. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, banjir yang paling besar tahun 67. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, yang ini yang kedua lah, yang, yang paling kedua. besar. Hmm. Ini lebih kurang pada membantulah yang mampu. Mungkin uh, dia sediakan bahan-bahan. Mungkin kerja ni saya boleh bantu dengan percuma. Oh, okey. Uh. Okey, okey. Satu jam lah dari pukul 8 malam 20, 26 hari bulan. 23 hari bulan tu daripada 8 malam sampai pukul 9 dia dah sampai pinggang lah sampai ke para sebumbung arena yang atas tu dia surut seminggu lepas tu lah untuk bersihkan ni uh, majlis pemandiran dengan sukarela suka, apa sukarela lawan lah. uh, yang boleh meniaganya dalam masa semalam dalam masa 2 3 hari lah baru boleh meniaga balik cuma ada setengah-setengah tempat yang masih belum belum bersih lah kan bila jadi je bencana dalam masa yang singkat semua bantuan tiba mana pada yang mangsa tu tak ada masalah lah cuma masalah rumah cuci tu biasalah kan tapi Dari segi apa ni keperluan tu, keperluan asas, keperluan harian tu, Alhamdulillah lah semuanya dapat lah. So with volunteers and local contractors giving up their services and time for free to help refurbish damaged businesses and property, the royal town of Kuala Kangsa is thankfully back on the road to recovery.